guys. So, this will be the first day of our first night. Um, um, she's getting up about every four hours, maybe. Um, to feed or to um, eat. I mean, to get a diaper changed. Um, I just for the first time because she she start to mm, mm. She, right like she doesn't want anything but she just do that little noise. So um, I decided to try to give her the pacifier because they was trying to give her the pacifier, you know the green pacifier at the hospital, but she wasn't having it. <laughs> but I decided to take it home anyway. So I decided to try the pacifier with her. She's up, by the way. And her little, little face, little lips, it's like she tries to suck on the pacifier. And it's like she's kissing it. She's like, it's so cute. But um, that's actually helping soothe her. I don't believe I would give it to her throughout the daytime. I think that it'd just be something mid of the night help her soothe herself to sleep that I would give her. Um, so let me update you guys real quick. And sorry about the lighting. I'm just, I'm trying to do the best I can here. As I got discharged from the hospital, you guys know that it wasn't my doctor that actually did my cesarean. It was another doctor from another um, from a whole nother, y'all know what I'm trying to think, the word I'm thinking of, but it was another doctor from another, um, practice at the hospital that was on call, so he performed my, my surgery, and he also pres wrote my prescription, he wrote me a prescription or whatnot for Percocets, I think it was. Now, I'm not, like I was told y'all in there, I'm not a fan of, you know, taking all those heavy drugs. Like, I don't, I'm not, mm -mm. but he prescribed me some anyway. And in the hospital, you know, I was, I'm, maintain, I'm maintaining the pain. It's just like, usually it, it gets at its worst when she's feeding. And, you know, your uterus starts to contract. Yeah, that's when it really gets its worst. Or if I'm like. Or if I go like a whole day without taking something, that's when it really I really start to feel it. But if not, I just try to just tolerate the pain. But anyway, so as he he wrote the prescription, they you know gave me the prescription, and um, I went to go fill it. I took it to Publix. You know, she told me to come back in a few hours. I came back because I, I even though I didn't want to take it every day, I just want to have it on hand just in case I may need it. So, sorry again about the lighting, guys. Um, I got Jaden in the room, too, so I'm not trying to have it too bright in here. Uh, anyway, so when I went to go pick it up, the lady was like, the pharmacist was like, oh, we couldn't feel it because it was a handwritten prescription, granted. Um, and she said they couldn't uh, feel it because they didn't have a signature on it. Now, you guys know, I don't, my doctor's office and where I deliver is like an hour away from here, from my home. So I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, we sent it back to him, but we can't give it to you unless it had a signature on it. So I'm like, oh my God. So I called them back and they're like, oh, well, the only thing, we, I'm sorry. The only thing we could do is have you come back and um just pick up another one with a signature on it. Because my doctor actually couldn't even authorize it. And she could write me the same prescription, but I would still have to go up there to get it. So, I was just like, I'll just, just can, you, can you prescribe me something for right now? Um, Because I do have to end up going back up that way um, in like two days for her a follow-up for her heart murmur. So, but I'm not going to be driving back up there every day like that. So, I told him I'll come. Today is, today is, well, I'm filming this on Tuesday, but today is 
that happened on Monday. I told him I'll come Thursday. So I'll be there Thursday. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a pain that I've been there. I've, I've been popping some. I've been popping some ibuprofen. It's it's helped. I know I've been kind of doing a lot, but it's only because it's like I need to be able to get stuff done. Like I don't have, I don't have nothing prepared. And y'all know I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it this weekend. I have nothing. Pre I had nothing prepared. So I, you know, dads is gonna do it. They're gonna, you know, do what they can, but they're not gonna do what moms do. So I had, I had. To get things together but i'm trying to move slowly i'm trying to pace myself i'm not trying to rush myself to get it done <sighs> but i did set up my little almost first night nursery thing i'm a i'm gonna insert a clip but i got her baby breezer set up um hold on bassinet and swing where she sit sleeps at because she doesn't sleep in the bed with me she sleeps right here next to me though <laughs> but she doesn't sleep in the bed with me because um like I said Jaden still comes in here in the middle of the night and sleeps in the bed with me so I don't want him to you know have a foot in her face or something so yeah but I'm really hesitant because she also has a doctor's appointment tomorrow with you know the boys the pediatrician all of them go to the same doctor um, I'm just so scared of taking her out because she's so little. She has no immune system. Oh my God. I don't want her to get sick. I don't want people around her. I don't want people to look at her. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. I'm, I'm just so protective over her. And the boys, the boys are so protective over her too. Um, yeah, it's, it hasn't been a hard night. I haven't been in any pain like that. Like, I'm sore, but I'm not in excruciating pain. Um, I want some coffee. <laughs> but then again, I want some sleep. So, as soon as she, as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to put her down and um, try to get some sleep. Especially while Booker's asleep. Um, that's about it. Like I said, I, I don't, she not had a poopy diaper, a poopy diaper since the middle of the night. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to look, check her before I lay her down. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get her some sleep and wash out her glass bottles. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep you guys updated, okay?